the scripture for this morning is one that we've been looking at and studying uh, for quite a while here. It's simply ask and it should be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Which father whose son asked them for bread would give them a snake instead? So if you're heavenly, so if an evil father, yeah, if an evil father knows how to give bread to their son, how much more would your heavenly father give to you, give to those he loves? Simply because we ask according to his will. So we're going to pray this morning and ask God to continue to bless us, watch over us and keep us. We're going to ask the Lord to have mercy and grace on our, our lives, our families, our kids, our futures, our world. That's going to be our prayer this morning. We're going to pray in the spirit. We're going to pray supernaturally uh, in the spirit realm, breaking strongholds, breaking breaking the enemy's hold over our lives mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, financially. The devil is a lie, but what he doesn't know is we have the power. God has given us all authority on heaven and earth. He said, what you bind on earth can be bound in heaven and what you loose on earth can be loosed in heaven. So that's our prayer this morning. So let's go to the throne of grace. And again, if you have a prayer request, just put it in the chat uh, and we will absolutely get to your prayer request. Father God, we love you. We thank you. We honor you this morning for being the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We love you so much for your magnificent power, your almighty power. You are God and God alone. You don't need anybody's help. You don't need anybody's assistance in how you run this thing. You are the CEO of the world, the CEO of the universe, and we honor you. We, we pay homage to you. We appreciate you for being the father, the God, the creator of all things. Lord, you are a protector. You are a shepherd. You are a shield. Lord, you have kept us from danger, seen and unseen. Lord, you've kept us from death early pre premature death and accidents, Lord. You, you have protected us, Lord, from things that we, we probably shouldn't even be here right now. We're grateful. We're so grateful that for whatever reason, Lord, you've given us an opportunity to see a brand new day. Lord, you've given us an opportunity to live life and have it more abundantly, Lord. It's in you that we live, we move, and we have our being, Father. We love you and we thank you. We thank you for your mercy and your grace that saw us last night and watched over us last night and kept us last night. Oh, we love you so much, Father God, for just giving us your son, Yahshua, Jesus, who died and gave us another chance, Lord. He reconciled us to you. Lord, without him, without his blood, without his resurrection, there would be no conversation with you right now, Father. So we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that you've given us and he dwelt inside of us. He lives inside of us. And it's his truth, it's his mercy, it's his reminders that we can walk by faith and not by sight. We can walk daily, not fearing what the enemy will do to us. For though we may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, guess what? We don't fear any evil, I'm afraid of nothing because my God is with me. He's my staff. He's my rock. He's my shield. He will make my pastures green. He will even make a table for me in the presence of my haters. Father, thank you this morning. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for our, our sister Lulu, who's faithful in, in your service to you, Lord, as she continues to write these prayers for National Prayer Day next week, Lord. I pray that you would give her the inspiration and the, the, the power and the anointing and the, the insight on what to pray, how to pray, what to say, when to say it, Lord. May she cast out demons and bind the devils that try to hinder the people in her congregation, Lord. We pray for Lulu right now, Lord, that you would continue to walk with her and keep her, Lord. Give her that mind that's in you that is in Christ Jesus, Lord. We pray for her, that you would keep her and can keep all evil, protect, protect her from hurt, harm, danger, accidents, tragedies. Lord, we ask that you strengthen her mental, strengthen her emotional, strengthen her physically, Lord. I ask that you would grant her your favor, your success in everything that she touches. Oh, Lord, thank you for her, Lord, and her inspiration and the ministry that she's she's living out for you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for classic Corey Baker who joined this morning, Lord. I ask that you bless him and protect him and watch over him. I ask, Lord, that you would give him the strength to do what he needs to do in this life that you've given him, Lord. I pray that he continue to be the inspiration that he is to nieces and nephews, cousins and friends, Lord. Lord, continue to protect Corey from all hurt, harm, danger, accidents, tragedies, disasters, devastation, destruction, mishaps, misinterpretations, Lord. Every spell, every curse, every devil that has been assigned to Corey's life, Lord, that you would cast it out today, that you would stop it today. Everything that was meant to penetrate his heart, meant to penetrate his mind, his emotions today. Stop, devil, stop. In the name of Yeshua, I pray over Corey. I put the hedge of protection over him this day, Lord. Every enemy attack, every weapon formed against him, every strategy and plan that was for Corey today. Stop, be still, go. You said we have faith the size of a mustard seed. We can tell a mountain to get up and move. Every mountain in Corey's life, everything that seems hard, impossible, strong, impenetrable, anything that's hard to move like a mountain, we have faith and believe, Lord, that you do it in Corey's life, that you would bless him today, that you would keep him today, Lord, that you would keep his mind clear, that you keep his mind disciplined, Lord, that you keep his mind focused, Lord, and that you anoint him, that you'd bless him. It's in the name of Jesus. Yes, the enemy must go. Every influence, every attack, every spell, every curse, 
Not today, devil. Not today in the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. For those that are joining us, we pray every morning at 7 a.m. on uh, uh, TikTok. And for whatever reason, TikTok banned us yesterday. So we're over here praying in the spirit. If you have a prayer request, put it in the chat. Lord, we pray over every household this morning that's represented, every marriage, every family member, cousin, friend, niece, and nephew, Lord. We ask that you would strengthen marriages, Lord, that you would strengthen the bond of relationships, Father, that you would draw people closer to you, Lord, that they would be one, just like you and the Father are one, Lord. We come against a spirit of separation, a spirit of divorce, a spirit of arguing and fighting, a spirit of a dis disagreement and being disgruntled, disharmony, Father. We ask that you would bring it back together, bring harmony back into oneness, Lord. We pray right now in the name of Yeshua, with the authority Authority of Yeshua, that you would help those marriages, help those friends, help those family members, Lord, who seem to be struggling in their relationships, Lord. That's a devil. That's a devil of deception, an, an enemy, a distraction to keep them from the will of God, Lord. We pray this morning that there would be harmony, that there be reconciliation, that there be love, joy, and peace in the home. Devil, you cannot have separation and divorce today. No, we, we stomp you out. We cancel you. We cancel your strategy. We cancel your attack. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you so much for uh, your, your word that's in our heart. We thank you, Lord, for the word that was in the beginning. In the beginning was the word and the word was God. We thank you this morning, Lord, for your, your power to bind the enemy. You said again, what we bind on earth can be bound in heaven and what we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So devil, you have no strength. You have no power. You have no authority over us. And we pray over those marriages. Lord, we pray over kids. We pray over children in the home that are dealing with challenges of maybe parents fighting, parents arguing. Lord, we ask that you help those kids not be traumatized. We pray in the name of Jesus that you don't win, devil. You don't have power. You don't have any room to disrupt. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for every child who may be discouraged or depressed because of what mom and dad are going through. Lord, for every child or kid who's discouraged or depressed because of what mom and dad aren't doing, Father. I pray for those kids right now that they're not traumatized the rest of their lives and that you would strengthen them, you would comfort them, that you would protect them emotionally and mentally, Lord, from the strain of parents fighting. It's in the name of Jesus we pray this this morning, Father. Stubbornness. <laughs> Men can be stubborn. Yes, they can, Lord. And we, we pray and ask, Lord, for a, a, a soft heart, a soft heart. In the name of Jesus, Lord, for both the male, the, the husband, and the wife, and for the kids, Lord. And as kids start their day-to-day, -day, Father, we ask that you would keep them and protect them, watch over them. Lord, we ask that you would give them the strength they need to make it through testing and through the trials and the heartaches and the headaches and the pressure of being in school. Lord, get them through it. They're almost there. They're almost to the finish line, Father. We pray and ask that you would strengthen them and help them and protect them. In the name of Yeshua, we pray, Father. We know that nothing is impossible for you. Nothing's impossible for you. So give them what they need, Lord. Give them the strength they need to make it. Give them the courage they need to make it, Father. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray and believe that you would help these kids. Help teachers. Help administrators. Hallelujah, Lord. Help all those who are in charge of our kids' future, Father, that you would give them the strength they need to be uh, the educators you've called them to be, Lord, that they don't get weary in their well-doing, Father, that you would give them the strength they need to make it to the finish line, Father. I pray, Lord, and come against every attack, every uh, mass shooting, every attack, every active shooter, violence in the classroom. We ask this, Lord, that you would have mercy, that you would have mercy, Father, in the name of Jesus. Only you can do it. Only you can do it, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Lord, if you would this morning, cover our nation, cover our leaders in power, the president and those in the judicial system and our legislators, our, those in Congress and the representatives, Lord, that they would make decisions worthy of your name, worthy of your calling, Father. We pray this morning, Lord, over our leaders in states and in uh, uh, counties and governments and mayors, Lord. We, we pray for our local legislators, Lord, that they would move on your behalf, Father, Lord. Every enemy, every spirit that's not for you, Lord, every law, every amendment, everything that they try to bring forth, every house bill that's not of you, Father. Lord, stamp it out. Cancel it. Lord, take over. Lord, for those who are of you and for you, the call, the chosen, who are in power, Lord, may they lead by your power. May, may they lead, Lord, with your strength. May they follow your leading, your guidance. May they listen to you and make laws, Lord, according to your word, Father. That's our prayer for them this morning, Lord. That's our prayer for them. We ask that you would keep them and help them and watch over them, Lord. It's in the name of Yeshua that we pray this, Father. We, we cannot make it without you. They cannot make it without you. Our nation cannot make it without you, Father. We pray this morning that you would give them the strength they need, the understanding that they need, the guidance that they need, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray this, Father, over every mayor, every governor, 
Lord, all that fighting and bickering, bickering and the selfishness and the resentment that they have toward one another, whether it's for, for uh, the television, whether it's for real or fake, Lord, I come against a defensive and a defensive spirit. Uh, the divisiveness that, that plays our nation, Lord. Lord, you have to fix it. You have to fix it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, I come praying for everyone who's dealing with some type of anxiety or worry or fear this morning. We ask that you help them this morning, Lord. Everyone who's panicky or nervous and dealing with something that's keeping them up at night, Lord. They're losing sleep over things, Lord. They're stressed about something, Lord. I ask that you would send your peace, your comforter, Lord. Everyone who's flustered or being scared or worried about something, I pray for them this morning in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would halt that spirit. Every spirit of suicide and depression, you got to stop this morning. In the name of Jesus, you have no power. You have no authority. Fear. We stamp you out with love. Fear. We stamp you out by faith. We, we counsel you. We put duct tape around you. Fear. You can't say another word in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of terror and harm and, and alarm and intimidation, phobias, you, you have to stop this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's our prayer. That's our prayer, Father. We trust you that you hear us. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you so much for your spirit of grace, your spirit of mercy. Lord, we can't do this without you can't do this without you father deliver us and protect us father but we pray for emotional health mental health this morning lord that you would keep us emotionally sane give us a sound mind give us the discipline to stay focused and in your word lord again i come binding every devil every spirit every principality of darkness in high places every demon every fallen angel every messenger of satan every principality low or high you can't have us this morning i bind the beast i bind the dragon every antichrist spirit every witch or warlock Every spell, every incantation, impartation, transfer of spirit, curses, people who wish bad wishes on us, thorns in our flesh. Lord, deliver us. Deliver us today from generational curses and failures and defeat, Father. Deliver us, again, from every weapon and strategy formed against us, every attack, everything that's been devised against us. We bind it under the authority of Jesus Christ. You can't have us. Deliver us, Lord, from our so-called friends and loved ones. Deliver us from associates who think they are for us, but we know that they're against us. Deliver us from family members who wish us good wishes, but in the end, Lord, maybe it's not for us, our haters, neighbors. Lord, deliver us from world systems and everything that's not of you, Father. If it's not of you, protect us, Lord. Protect us on our jobs from people who despitefully hate us, despitefully use us, mistreat us, Lord. You have to deliver us, Lord. You have to step in. You have to be the one who comes in and puts a shield of protection around us, Lord. It's in the name of Jesus we pray, Lord. We come against every distraction, every disturbance, every displacement, every discord. In the name of Jesus, all disagreements and discomfort. In the name of Jesus, dissension. The, deliver us, deliver us, Father, from conflict and calamity and clashes, Lord. Deliver us from altercations and fighting. Lord, deliver us from violence and threats. Deliver us from people being snarky and sarcasm and all the things that they try to do to get under our skin, Lord. May that not even bother us, Lord. May we have the strength of you who went to the cross. You went to the cross. You went to the cross. It didn't say a mumbling word. It didn't say anything. Lord, give us that kind of strength. Lord, give us that kind of power. Lord, give us that kind of endurance to make it to the finish line, Lord. Deliver us and protect us this morning, Lord. Oh, Father, we, we're leaning on you. We're depending on you. We're asking you, Lord, to keep us from all sickness and disease. Lord, deliver and protect us from all ailments of life that may try to harm us physically, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Oh, Father, the devil would love to kill, steal, and destroy. But we know that we have life in you. You said we can ask you anything. So I'm asking you this morning that you protect us from disease, sickness, and injury, and pain, infections, and viruses, bacteria, poisoning, and contamination, Lord, that you would deliver us from exposures to mold and mildew and uh, inflammation in our bodies, inflammation in our minds, Lord, inflammation in our souls. Lord, deliver us physically. Protect us from headaches and migraines and Alzheimer's and dementia, Lord. Brain aneurysms, Lord. Deliver us today from vision loss and hearing loss as we get older, Lord. Help us and protect us, Lord, from diabetes and cavities and gum disease, jaw pain, wisdom tooth pain, Lord. Everything that can physically hurt us. Today, I'm asking you, Lord, to protect us and help us from arthritis and gout and high blood pressure, Lord high cholesterol, heart disease, congestive heart failure, Lord. Deliver us today from heart attacks, heartburn, stroke, kidney disease. Lord, deliver us today from all forms of cancer, liver cancer, colon cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, Lord. Lord, deliver us today from pancreatic cancer and all the other forms of cancer that's out there. Cancer, if you're listening to me today, if you are in the, the realm of what we're dealing with, you can't today. Every cell, every unnormal, unproductive, unnatural growth of a cell in our bodies, Today, you must stop. Today, 
We may not even know about it, but we call it out in the name of Jesus in the spirit. You can't continue to grow in the way that you grow. Cancer, stop in our bodies in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against fibroids and cysts and tumors and every other form of growth, Lord, that's unnatural in our bodies. Lord, we come against diverticulitis, ulcers and acid reflux. Everything has to come under the authority of Jesus Christ. Blood clots and, and hypertension, Lord, and trying to think of some other diseases out there, Lord. L low blood pressure, I believe I've already said. Asthma, you, you can't have control today with this cold weather that's plaguing us in the, the central regions, Lord. Bronchitis and allergies, sinuses, infections, respiratory infections. Stop. Not today. Colds, flu, pneumonia, coughing and sneezing, stuffy nose, runny nose, phlegm in our throat. Stop. Today, we declare the victory of Jesus. People who are still dealing with COVID-19, now we're in the COVID-23. Stop. In the name of Jesus, you can't have power. You can't have authority. Do you hear me, devil? Devil, do you hear us? We're praying in the name of Jesus, under the authority of Jesus. Every strain of COVID, every strain of the flu, stop. There was a sister this week who said her daughter was dealing with epilepsy. Stop. Lord, give them the strength to overcome that. We had three or four sisters this week that asked for prayer because their kids were dealing with autism or being diagnosed with autism. Lord, we know you have the power and the authority to, to heal. To, to, to have fewer episodes, to strengthen the mind. Father, we're asking you for your mercy. We're asking you for your grace this morning for those folks, Lord. There were multiple people this week who said, Lord, I need a new job. I lost my job. My husband lost their job. Lord, I ask that you would give them the job that they need, that you would provide for them, that you would show them and open up the doors that, that's for them. Lord, what's for them, no one can take. What's for them can't be, can't be removed. So I ask, Lord, that you would move them into the season of their life into the jobs that's theirs, Lord. For people looking for new jobs or promotions or just an opportunity on their current job, Lord, I ask that you would give them favor, that you would give them success, Lord, that you would give them the power and the authority through you to be successful on their jobs, Lord. For all their haters on their jobs, Lord. For all the distractions and the people who are gatekeepers, Father, we pray that you would have your way in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for those folks who have asked of that this, this week, Lord. Lord, just keep us, protect us. That's our prayer. That's our prayer. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for blessing us with heavenly blessings. Lord, we thank you so much, Lord, for our parents who birthed us, that you designed, that you destined. We wouldn't even be here, Lord, if it hadn't been for them, regardless of the situations that happened in our lives. Lord, we thank you for our family and our friends. Lord, we thank you for our careers and our schools and our scholarships and the things that you've given us of interest, Lord. You've put those desires in our heart. Lord, you created us. From from beginning of time, you placed us in, our, in, in, in the womb, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for our professions and our careers and the desires and the intents you've put in our heart, Lord. We thank you for crafting us and making us who we are. Lord, we thank you, Lord, so much. For we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We thank you, God, for your strength. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord, we thank you for the good and the bad in our lives because we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. We thank you. We thank you so much, Lord, for giving us beautiful, intelligent, wise, amazing children Lord, we thank you, Lord, for safely bringing our kids through difficult times. And Lord, we thank you for protecting them up to this point, Lord. We thank you. This is a prayer of thanksgiving, Lord, for giving them life, giving them strength, getting them through depression and anxiety and tough times, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for their continued growth. Lord, I thank you for our kids, Lord, who are growing up to be respectful, responsible, righteous, faithful, peaceful young men, young women. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the pursuits and the, the desires that you put in their heart. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for keeping them emotionally and mentally and physically. Socially, they have to deal with things, Lord. Ethically, they have to deal with things morally. And you kept them, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the compassion on their hearts to love other people. Lord, we thank you this morning. Father, that's our prayer. Whether we have one or we have a thousand, Lord, that's our prayer. We believe by faith that you're with us and that you'll keep us. Holy Spirit, Fill this earth. Hmm. Holy Spirit, fill this land. Yes. Lord, I pray for this sister who said her continue. She said, please pray for my daughter. Continued restoration in her heart. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, Mary Lou. Restore. Lord, be a, rest a restorer. You are a restorer. You, re you restored me. Lord, you, you, you brought me out. And we pray for Mary Lou's daughter that you would just continue to work on her lord reveal yourself to her continue to, to to sprout and grow and grow some more father nothing's impossible for you 
We believe that you are the King of King and the Lord of Lords, Lord over her life. Restore her completely, Lord, completely, Lord, completely. You said we're two people agree. Me and Mary Lou are agreeing and asking you. We're asking, we're knocking, we're knocking. We're knocking, Lord, we're knocking. Are you there? Are you there? We know somebody's home. You're a home, Father. And we ask that you would open yourself up, Lord. We ask that you would stand at the door knocking on her behalf. In the name of Yahshua. Yes. Yes, Lord, we want to be like you. We want to walk like you, talk like you, be like you. Fill us, Lord. May the words that we speak and the actions that we profess and the, the, the things that we do, Lord, may they be pleasing in your sight. May they be pleasing in your sight, Lord. May the, the lives that you've given us to touch on our jobs and in our families, Lord, may we be pleasing in your sight, Father. May we be pleasing in your sight, Lord. May we be anointed. May the anointing flow through us and onto other people more. Lord, we pray that when they ask us and see us and talk to us, that they see you and not us. That's our prayer. In the name of Jesus. That's my prayer. Her boyfriend to come to know Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we, we continue praying for her daughter and her boyfriend, Lord. He needs to get to know you. Lord, reveal yourself to Mary Lou's daughter's boyfriend. In the name, Lord, reveal yourself. You said we could ask you anything. And that's our prayer. That he comes to know you, Father. That he comes to know you, Father. Lord, put people in his lives. Lord, put laborers in his lives. Lord, you said, for the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. The laborers are few. Lord, I'm praying for some laborers. Lord, I'm praying that you would send laborers in his life. That you would surround that young man with labor. That he cannot walk away from you. He couldn't even run away from you. That you would put people in his life that are springs and water of your life. For you are life, Father. And we pray for him. We pray with him. Mary Lou, Lord, that you would please, Lord, send somebody into his life to save his soul. Save his soul, Lord. May he get to know you. Yes. Hallelujah. I agree with that. Lauren and Nick, that's their names. Devil, you in trouble now. I got some names. And we call Lauren and Nick out before you, Father. We place them at your throne. We put them at the mercy seat of God, Lord. In the name of Yeshua, we, here we are. We are bringing Lauren and Nick. We are those friends who cut, we're cutting a roof, a hole in the roof, and we're lowering them down to you, Father, and asking you, Jesus, asking you, Yahweh, to do something in Mary Lou's family's life. Lauren and Nick need you completely. And Lord, may they be soldiers for the Lord. Lord, may they walk completely in the fullness of who you are. Every devil, every spirit, every enemy every stronghold every princi principality of darkness that's been assigned to lauren and nick's life we cancel you out today you have to tremble when we say the name jesus jesus yashua lord give them peace today give them joy give them your anointing give them your love your compassion lord may they follow you lord may they follow you lord may they have a heart to follow you in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 thank you father Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Whew. He's still worthy. He's still worthy. He is still worthy. He's still worthy. Lord, I thank you. His time. Yes. Yes, in his time. I believe it. Because he did it for me. I know he'll do it for Lauren and Nick. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I think that's our time. I don't see any other prayer requests in the chat. Um, I'm going to continue to pray. I'm going to go back to my prayer closet. I have a list. I have a list of people that I will continue to pray for this morning. Uh, they've given us their prayers. And so I'm going to continue in prayer. But Mary Lou, I wish you a good one. Sister, you have a blessed weekend. You have a wonderful weekend. Uh, God is still worthy. He still sits on the throne. And we thank God for this opportunity. All right. You have a wonderful uh, rest of your day.